hello guys welcome back to the dp design hope you are all doing fine so in this video we will showcase this basic simulation of air intake manifold for the formula SA cars so we will show we will show you how it is actually mounted how to give the boundary conditions and how to assemble the venturi and the planum and how to create the leads the basic ones and the, in the technical brief I will make another video for a technical calculation of this intake manifold. So I will show you where it is actually mounted. So here is our planum with the venturi which is made up of a one single part 3D printed which is made up of a ABS this one. This is how we mounted our planum and venturi. So we have done many iterations. Uh, regarding the converging and diverging angle and then we have made a final assembly of our planum and a venturi so we first we will assemble those parts and we will start doing simulation on that so this one is our part i will make it in an assembly so go to the make an assembly so yes here you can see you can add the part from assembly insert component and browse the part go to the planum okay we have received the planum so this portion is directly connected to the venturi and this portion is directly connected to the engine engine portion so i will assemble go, go to the mate to circular regions okay now you can see it is concentric now now you can make a selection of the spaces okay perfect now the planum and the venturi which makes an perfect air intake manifold for a formula is a car now this portion is directly connected to the environmental part that is uh, which is atmospheric pressure and this one is directly connected to the engine so throughout the calculation we have found our required mass flow rate for the engine to run very smooth so our mass flow rate was the 0.074 kg per second the required mass flow rate and this one is a, a environmental pressure so for closing the body i will go to the leads to go to the leads and i will create the leads over here i will create the lead over here okay that is a 0.5 thickness not too much thickness is necessary for the simulation so you can hide this part and give to the boundary condition now you have to go uh, wizard you have to okay i have to save the first assembly of this one and now go to the wizard you can name it your yeah, name the project you can choose the configuration if you have made any and next so here are the units you can select for the pressure pascal velocity for meter per second the basic so our simulation is a internal type analysis in the external type analysis we do aerodynamic simulation the free surface simulation that is directly related to the external type simulation we have we have to select the internal type simulation and we we don't have to select the time dependent because uh, transient analysis take a lot of computational time for calculating we don't have any rotation we don't have any free surface for this part you can select the gravity if you want okay in the gases you have to select the air okay the air the flow type you can select the laminar and turbulent flow the high Mach number flow you can select for the supersonic type uh, flows also you can check the humidity So the wall condition we have discussed in the previous video how the walls are actually affecting the simulation right so here you can select the turbulence parameter as well so I will finish okay now you can see my computational domain is generated I will make it a quite bigger so it won't conflict with my boundary condition okay fine so you can hide the computational domain now 
now you have to focus on the boundary condition if your boundary condition are correct then your output will be uh, the better as required okay so go to the boundary condition here this portion is directly connected to the atmosphere so you can go to the pressure openings and you can select the environmental pressure over here okay and you can select the temperature according to your environment here you can select the bound uh, boundary layer which is a laminar or turbulent turbulence parameter here you can select also uh, <coughs> next you can select the goal as a default and that is used for convergence only now i will select okay next okay the next portion is this one this is directly connected to the engine intake so i will hide this part so we have calculated our data and we have received the required mass product for our engine is 0.074 kg per second so i will give the boundary condition as out plate mass flow over here and i will select the 0.074 of kg per second here you can see the environmental pressure and here you can see the 0.074 kg per second for the engine intake now now the goals if you want to calculate the pressure difference overall pressure difference then you can select the goals you can go to the global goals and you can select the total pressure which is minimum average and maximum value you can select then you can select the maximum velocity you can differentiate the different types of flow by the velocity gradient now you can see yeah, now you can see the total pressures are described under the goals also you can select the surface goals as well, as well so if you want to calculate the mass flow rate which is coming over here so you can calculate on this surface how much velocity how much mass flow rate it is collecting also you can if i will show you when planar when eventually also if you want to measure the mass flow rate over here you can create one surface which is act as a lead but not interfering the flow so also you can select those surface for the bet uh, better goal results okay now we are done with the goals and now we are done with the boundary condition as well so you can also customize your meshing according to your need i am not uh, going much deep into that because it will take a lot of computational time to uh, compute the results now i will select the run you can the course you can select the course according to your computer so here you can see my calculation has been finished also you can select the graphs as well so how the graphs is actually floating you can see the uh, total pressure described over here as a graphs so i will close this and we'll go to the results now if you want to study the cut plot as a velocity velocity parameter so you can select any plane any reference plane one will be better i think the top line will be better the velocity i will hide this now you can see how velocity is and how the pressure difference is going to affect your flow and also if you want to measure the uh, flow trajectories so you can hide this plot you can create one plane which is one point two point and th three point plane so also you can plot the whole uh, flow of the air how much it is going to because it is uneven that's why the plane is directly finishing over here so now you can select the flow trajectories i will select this one this one okay 
you can select the 400 of particles you can select the spheres this one is a transparency of the particles also you can select the crop region as well constraints Also, you can animate the results. So, how it is going to make a difference in the pressure plots. Also, you can customize your planum according to the uh, various iterations for the flow. I am showcasing. Uh, I am showcasing you only the how to simulate, and then you can do your uh, own iterations for the better results. So thank you that's all and also one one portion that is a goal plot and if you want uh, values in excel so you can export to the excel file also you can plot the graphs as well for the history how the graphs uh, is generated so we will explain further technical details in another video so thank you and keep supporting keep sharing this video stay tuned